the mechanical room. So we have a no cool call uh, for a suite. It's got two zones. This is our zone board. Um, so if we follow that, it goes to this furnace. So right now I'm receiving a call for fan for both zones and a call for cool for both zones. And nothing seems to be happening. So we may have a failure in the blower motor. I came out here yesterday, but there was nobody here and I couldn't get in here. Uh, but I did notice when the condensers was frozen, so I unplugged it. So I suspect maybe that condenser is attached to this unit. If the blower is not running, that would explain why it froze up. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and dig a little further. So here we go. All right, so first things first, we want to make sure we're receiving the call from both th thermostats. So this right here is thermostat one or zone one. This is zone two. So first things first, make sure we have 24 volts between R and C. We do. All right, so now we're going to check Y and C. Yeah, we're getting a call for cooling, and we're going to check G to C. All right, so we have a call for cool and fan. We're going to do the same thing for zone two. Okay, R to C, good. Y to C, good. G to C, yep. All right, so we're receiving a call. So now we got to see why this furnace isn't doing anything. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so we got the panel open, filter looks clean. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure we have uh, R to C, we do. We're gonna check G to C since it's right there. Yep, mm -hmm. And we're gonna check Y to C to make sure we're receiving calls. Okay, so yeah, we are. Now when I pull this panel off, I can smell, uh, I can smell the uh, chemicals burning. So I suspect that there's something up with this uh, blower motor. So let's see if we have any amp draw going to our uh, blower motor and I'm gonna use the common wire here just to see if we got any amps going to it we do not alrighty so now we need to see if we have voltage going to the blower motor All right, so I've unplugged the cool plug which is the black wire which is right here and I've unplugged the neutral uh, which is right there and you can see we're not getting any voltage so we might have a bad relay in the board. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, we're gonna see if this motor still works. All right, I'm just checking the run cap just to make sure it's a 10. We got 10.08, so it's good. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we have our neutral plug back into the board. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this high speed fan, I'm gonna plug it into the uh, door switch and basically when I push it in, it will power up the blower motor. And if blower, blower motor works, it should just kick on like nothing. If it doesn't, then it won't do anything. But um, we do have an issue with one of the relays in the board, so the board's gonna have to get changed, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but it's possible that the blower motor might be dead too, but it's also a chance that it might be fine. So we wanna go ahead and test that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our line voltage first. Okay. And we want to be careful because it's still live. All right. So let's see. That. Okay. So there it is. So this is our line voltage. This right here is our load voltage. So we're going to unplug the load. And like I said, this is still live. So be careful that you don't shock yourself. All right. And let's set that aside. So it's not going to short on anything. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug our blower into that spade that I just unplugged. Then when we push that in, it will power up the blower. And if it works, it should kick on. And then we'll also get an amp draw reading on it too. Because I do smell some like, you know, chemical burning kind of smell. Um, could just be dust too. Um, there's there's a big fires going on right now. So uh, everything smells like burning. So I, it just might be stuck in my nose. All right. We got it hooked up. We got our amp clamp ready to roll. So when we push this in, the blower should come on. So here we go. All right, so it looks like I popped a breaker when I hooked up that uh, blower motor to the unit. So blower motor is definitely dead. So now I gotta find the breaker. So here we go. All right, so there's our breaker. So we flip it off, I'll flip it back on. So it looks like our, uh, our blower motor is probably shorted. So I guess I was smelling something burning. All right, we got the blower motor out and you can see these windings are toast. 
I mean, for one, they're completely just coated in crap. Uh, but yeah, there's some burning there. Right in there, there's some burning. Yeah, I mean, I can smell it. So, all right, cool. So we're gonna get this blower out and see what the specs are and see if I have one. And then we'll get that changed. We'll probably install a relay and get the board on order. All right, so we got our old board uh, taken off. The new blower's in there. You can see there, there you go. There's our blower relay, it's completely fried. So yeah, so we got our new board. Uh, this is gonna be this guy right here. Um, I got this from Carrier, and it's gonna be a little different, but it should work. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the board installed. Alrighty, so uh, we got the circuit board installed. We had to use some adapters that it came with. Uh, very important too is when you're changing these boards, make sure you put the new schematic sticker on there and the new, uh, oops, and the new error code sticker. That way, if there's problems, we can make it easier to find. Um, blower is running. We got currently at five amps, so I would say we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to go ahead and kick on the air and just make sure that the refrigerant charge is good. All right, so we're back out here. Uh, checking our refrigerant we got the probes on it's about 80 degrees out here that's our pressure so everything's looking pretty good targets 12 super heat I'd say 10 to 15 so I would say that's pretty good to go so anyway yeah so if you ever come outside and you find that everything's all iced up you probably have an indoor air flow problem could be a dirty filter could be a clogged coil uh, hey what's up dog uh, could also be a dead blower in our case so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.